The Belt and Road Initiative will inevitably have an enormous economic impact uh, in the region that it's working in. It's notable that the areas which are affected by the Belt and Road Initiative are ones of recently massive population growth. For example, Nairobi in Africa, um, that is one of the linchpin parts of, for example, the, the road initiative, the seagoing lanes of it. Aside from the effects that the Belt and Road Initiative will have once all of the connectivity and infrastructure is in place, the mere fact of the infrastructure being built has itself already had an enormous economic impact on the nations in question. For example, the recent development of port facilities in Colombo has led to an enormous amount of local employment and the deployment of, for example, thousands of tons of building materials. These are initial investments that are already showing impact on the community and the cities that are being served by the Belt and Road Initiative. I think it is inevitable that there will be interdependencies increased and strengthened between the countries. Many of the countries of the region, particularly in uh, Central Asia, for example, uh, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, already have integrated economies. Um, what will happen as a result of Belt and Road, I think, is that interdependencies will be strengthened between areas that are much more geographically disparate. For example, Africa and China. I can see there being very strong synergies between those two particular regions, uh, both of which have enormous human capital and quite complementary needs and demands for, for example, materials and natural resources. Urbanisation goes hand in hand with economic development. History has shown us this time and time again. Um, where economies do well, individuals can begin to specialise in their skills and individuals move inevitably to cities. Already more people on earth now live in cities than do live outside of it. And if we allow that the Belt and Road Initiative will have an inevitable positive effect on the economies of the countries it is connecting, it is inevitable that more people will move to the cities within those regions from the rural areas because cities are economic drivers and engines and places where people go to find jobs and to become educated crucially. So uh, my recommendation for the cities in the Belt and Road Initiative, Almaty, Dushanbe, Nairobi, Xi'an for example, is that to prepare themselves for an influx of new city dwellers and each of these new city dwellers will need a place to live, access to green space, access to food, water and health care. Every new individual who moves to a city presents a challenge and an opportunity to that city so I would urge those cities to think very carefully about how they can sustainably house these new city dwellers.